Okay, uh, let's go ahead and bring in our next guest, good friend of the show, Dr. Art Morales. Art, how's it going? Hello, buddy. How are Dr. You? Art, how's it going? I'm doing good. Dr. Yeah. Art is a cosmetic dentist. That's right. Is that is that correct? That's 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 fine. Now you were when you were growing up. At what point yeah. do you think? Hey, you know, I think I want to be a dentist. You know, it's funny you ask that. Um, it's a quick short story. When I was in high school, we would go cruising on Blackstone because mm -hmm. I went to Carruthers High School. Right. And so uh, one day there was um, some guys driving up next to us and they were checking out my buddy's girlfriend in the car. Okay. And so next you know, they're, you know, making comments to her, checking her out. And so make a long story short, we're on Barstow and Blackstone and there's three of them and three of us and they're probably watching the show. In the parking lot? Yes. Right there by Trader Joe's? Right on the other side, it used to be uh, by the Foster Freeze oh, and Payless oh, Shoes. Oh, okay, 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 all right. So we're walking each other. We're gonna fight. Uh oh. And it's three big guys. You know, I was about 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. These guys are about 225. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, good they, thing they, you got some big Carruthers boys with you. Yeah. <laughs> so they take out crowbars, literally. And start, wow. Start beating on us. They and, hit uh, you with a crowbar. They hit me in the mouth, and my tooth went flying, literally. Wow. And. Um, I'm looking down at the ground as I'm getting beaten, and my tooth is right there. Wow! And uh, but make a long story short, that's what inspired me to be a dentist because I didn't go to school for two weeks. Well, you know that's weird. You know, hearing that story, I'm thinking back. Maybe I should have been what's uh, an optometrist because I can remember when I was 12 years old at Cedar Lanes, I saw a guy's glass eye get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what happened to you? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> okay. so you get your tooth so knocked, my tooth knocked out, you're laying down. there all bloodied up thinking, yep. I'm going to be a dentist. Exactly, right. exactly. Well, I didn't go to school for two weeks. I was so ashamed. You know, at that point, I was a sophomore in high school at Carruthers High School. Right. And uh, I felt like I was on the top of the world. And then I was so ashamed, I felt like the scum of the earth. And so I didn't go to school for two weeks. Ow. I missed uh, varsity uh, so uh, baseball tryouts because I was so ashamed. And uh, I went to a dentist. He was out in Hanford, Dr. Matsumoto. And uh, it took him a couple weeks to make me a partial denture with one tooth on it. And I just remember the day I got it, um, I went from the scum of the earth to just back on top. Back on top. And I said, you know, and literally I said, man, if I can do this for people. Let me see you like this. So you can't even tell. This is a great tooth. So, so, so then that led me, once I was in dental school, I started learning about dental implants. Right. And this is a dental implant, believe it or not. And well, then tell me what's the difference between a dental implant. A dental implant is a man-made pin that replaces the root of a tooth. Okay. So it's inserted into the gums. And the what is it grabbing onto on the other side? The bone, the bone. Okay. So the bone, it takes about three to four months for the bone to you fuse screw to it. it in or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our patients are sedated. They're very comfortable. They're yeah. numb. And the best part is they don't remember the experience the next day. Okay. And uh, it takes about three to four months for the bone to fuse to the implant. And then after that, we put the cap on top. So this is actually. It looks cap. great. I, yeah, I would you. never have known. I did it myself. Did you really? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when, when people are coming to you, yeah. uh, th this is cosmetic. This isn't a teeth, a teeth cleaning or a filling. Or uh, this is cosmetic. This is uh, this is vanity stuff, right? Well, we do everything. We're okay. a family dental practice, but our focus is on sedation, cosmetics, and implants. Okay. But you know, we we see patients from ages two on up. And uh, but do, 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 does the insurance? recognize the cosmetic as, an, as something that you need? You know what, you'd be surprised. Uh, dentistry, dental uh, insurance is starting to cover more and more. Um, in the past, they wouldn't touch it. Now, you know, they see that um, there's a need for it, you know, because there's a lot of psychological impact on, on people's health uh, when their mouth is not healthy. Right, so. I, and, and, I, and I was just gonna mention that because I, I, knowing that you were coming on, I did a little research and I found out that, that there's all kinds of different health issues that come from having bad teeth. Yep. So now we know that the health of the mouth is related to the health of the body. The health of the body is related to the health of the mouth. So they go hand in hand. And so for some See, reason... Everyone's shitting out here with their mouth closed. <laughs> Not one person has their mouth open. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you something interesting. Um, a study came out that showed, maybe interesting to you, maybe some viewers, that if you have gum disease, you're seven times more likely to have erectile dysfunction. What? Seven times more likely. I have a what? Erectile dysfunction. Oh, erectile. <laughs> okay. okay. So, right. but, but you're twice as likely to have heart disease if you have gum disease. Mm -hmm. They also found that if you have 
gum disease, missing teeth, and cavities, it's just as good as a, a predictor to heart disease as cholesterol is. So, um, so it, it, there's a big link there. It's linked to osteoporosis, premature babies, arthritis. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So in our practice, we're really focused on health and wellness. You know? what, what, what's the number one thing that you see in your office that can be prevented? Um, you know, decay. Decay. I think, it, I think a lot of it is people don't necessarily understand um, decay. Everybody thinks, hey, if I just um, brush my teeth every day, that I'm not going to have a cavity. Mm -hmm. And so that's the old model. You know, the old model in dentistry was the repair model. And that's where dentists would fill holes, replace teeth, you know, fix fillings. Um, in our practice, we're really based on the wellness model. And that's where now preventative, preventative is key. And, and on top of that, though, we know that if we understand patients' susceptibility and their risk factors, we can make sure that they have less problems. Because, see, some of us are just, we're born with predisposition genetic problems. Oh, teeth, I know. You know? And I have a patient, 21 years old, never been to the dentist. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, right? Not one cavity. Then I have. Can people... I tell you this, and you, uh, and you can back me up on it because I know you're a doctor and everything. These, this is the third set of teeth to grow in for me. Third set. The thir the third set. I was about 12 years old. My teeth started falling out. My parents were freaking out. They take me to the dentist. They said, No, don't worry, more are coming in. The third set. Yeah. Well, you're special. Well, I know that, but I just want you to back it up a little bit. It's, well, it's well, normal, right? Well, 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 the third set of teeth these days, you know, we call dental implants. So, but, uh, but some people do have more. I had a patient just this week who had um, six extra teeth in his mouth. Literally. Wow. What yeah. was he doing with them? Yeah. He was, he was eating well. <laughs> I, bet, I bet he was. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah. as people get up in years, uh, they, 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 we're not going to talk about like, you got your tooth knocked out in a, in a brawl out on Blackstone. <laughs> but as they get up, up, in, up in years, yes. uh, what, what can they do? Uh, what, what, are, what are normal preventative things for them to do? Well, you know, uh, maintenance is key. It's, you know, I tell my patients, look, the better you do at home, at controlling your risk factors, right? Risk factors are sugar intake, acid, in, acid intake is huge right now. You know, this is the first, last year, acid, <laughs> right? Coffee, tea, lemonade, orange juice, soda, wine, all those things. Uh -huh. Last year was the first year in America that more people took in cal more calories drinking versus eating. Wow. And most of, that, most of that was acidic beverages. So coffee and tea and all that stuff. Alcohol. Alcohol, too, is very acidic. So as a result, the teeth dissolve. The enamel dissolves. And that's the layer of protection on our mouth and our teeth. And so if we don't have that enamel, we're just exposed. You know? And so, uh, so I would say maintenance and then just controlling and understanding those risk factors. So our practice is really big on just educating our patient. You know? I wanted to talk about the special braces that you have for oh, yeah. adults. Yes, yes. Because... I know people like my sister, okay, and Tammy. I'm sorry that I'm bringing. I'm going to use you as an example, uh -oh. but I've been do doing it since I've been a kid. <laughs> okay, so uh, she's on her second set of braces. Okay, and uh, not fun because yeah. here she's forty ish, and she's on her second set of braces. So yeah. the the things that you do are different. Tell people how different they are. Yeah, so in our practice, because we do cosmetics, we understand that most 40-year-olds are not going to want to go get silver brackets and silver wires on their teeth to straighten their teeth. So what we offer is, is a, a system that's called Six Month Smile. You can Google it. And uh, it's basically it's clear brackets and white wires. So you can be sitting here on TV, and people won't even realize that you have brackets. So, so and it only takes about six six months. Because because they're clear and the white wires, do they tear up the mouth? Or they are they are they soft? They're not metal. They're something else, right? It's acrylic. Uh -huh. It's an acrylic. So it's a it's a very hard. Is it plastic. tough? Is it as tough on the mouth? It's not any tougher than uh, regular braces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so. six months. Mm -hmm. Why why so quick? The main reason is we're not focused on the back teeth. And so it's especially geared for adults that have a... Because no one sees the back teeth. Exactly. So we're focused on just the front teeth, and we're not necessarily moving every single back tooth um, to perfection. And so as long as somebody has a solid, comfortable bite, we can manipulate just the front teeth, and in six months or so, be done. So I always tell patients, by your next cleaning, you can have nice... Please. It's called curb appeal. Right. Yeah? There you go. There you go. Right. Yeah. Well, then on top of that, 
we uh, will we'll bright, bright, bright and, uh, bleach your teeth after it's all said and done. So You, uh, you just throw in that? We throw that the, in there. The bleaching? The you, bleaching. you guys probably do the bleaching anyway, right? Yeah, well, yes, but that's part of the six-month smile protocol. Okay. Yeah, so we'll awesome. give that. Uh, you take yeah. a new patient's? Always. 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 I like always. that. Uh, you're over uh, by the Bullard High. Bullard High School on Palm, across the street from Bullard High School. Okay. Uh, how, how do people get a hold of you, doctor? What's the best way? You know, the best way is just to call us or visit our website. You know, our um, office number is 435-3113, and okay. our website is moralesdental.com. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, check us out. Facebook us. Okay, before yeah. we go. Yeah. How's your turkey doing at home, doctor? <laughs> uh, what, what have you? Want to tell the people what a good cook you are? Yeah, <laughs> so uh, I was responsible for the family turkey this year. And uh, my wife and I, we went and did the turkey trot this morning. And we came home to uh, a smoky turkey house. Turkey trot to run, okay? Turkey trot run right, at right. Woodward Park. And uh, we came home and it smelled funny and it, it uh, looked a little uh, foggy in there. So now I'm off to uh, Boston Market. <laughs> well, what did it tell them what not to do then on a turkey? What, did, what was your... Well, okay. I'm going to accept responsibility publicly here. I'm sorry, babe. Um, I Smart got man. up at 4 a.m. and I could have swore she told me to put it at 4:25. Uh -huh. Of course, she said 3:25. Uh -huh. And so um, out the door for the run. Out the door for the run and back inside with turkey a, jerky. Turkey jerky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say I made some turkey jerky for Thanksgiving this year. All right. But, all right, always good to see same you. Same here, buddy. Thank and you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey, same to you. Thank All you. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Remember that we still have live music from Rebecca Bishop, and we're going live soon to the kitchen of Double Rainbow Guy Yosemite Bear Vasquez. Stick around.